Hello everyone, this is me, Sabra here, and I'm back with the third week of June read start from the 15th through the 21st of June 2024. This reading is going to be for the sign of Leo. So Leo, let's see what's coming in for you for this week time. Just be mindful, it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So we do have the music inspiration, Ex Lovers, Old Spark, Break Up, Forever and Dangs. On the deck, we do have the Toxicity and Karmic. Hmm, interesting. Leo, what's happening here? If you have been receiving a lot of uh, telepathic messages coming from an ex of yours, this person is going to reach out to you during this week time. Um, this person and you have had a lot of karmic uh, interaction, a lot of toxic interaction. Um, you always felt that this person always pushed the wrong buttons and trigger you in a negative way. And I really feel like you know, for a majority of you, this is a karmic connection. It's not your soulmate. Um, this person would be returning back in your life. Uh, they they would want you back. They would want to um, take things forward with you. Um, they would want to patch up. They would want to fix everything up. But this person always triggers negative emotions in you. And if this is happening, I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, this relationship that you're going to reconcile with, um, you know, it, this partner that you're going to reconcile with, um, there will be a, you know, you know, as soon as you patch up, as you, you will break up again. So if this person, whoever it is that is coming back in your life from the past, um, they always trigger wrong emotions in you or negative emotions in you and make you feel bad. And, you know, when you think of them, you always think of the bad stuff that happened in the connection. And this person returns back to you. Um, you know what you need to do. You need to cut it off. You need to not cater this person at all. I feel... For majority of you, this breakup that has happened, um, this person would want to get back with you because the grass was not greener on the other side for them, and they want you to back. Uh, they want you to be back with them, but I really don't see it to be a healthy relationship here. So let's see what else is coming through. So definitely, somebody from the past would be returning back for a reconciliation, but they are not. Uh, uh, this person is your comic, I would say. So let's see what else is coming through for you. What else is coming through for you? For some of you, you might have already met someone new. Um, maybe you're not needing this person at all. Because I really don't see that, you know, when this person approaches you, you are going to be so happy and excited. I really don't see that energy. But um, you would sense that there is something toxic returning with this person returning in your life. Let's see. What else is coming through for you for this week time? Let's see. Nine of Cups, Six of Cups, Eight of Swords. There you go. It's the same energy. You know, for some of you, you might get very happy and excited. Oh my God, this person is back in my life. Yay, yay, yay. This is what you want and blah, blah, blah. And maybe this person is going to make you feel that way. Like, you know, you are my wish fulfillment. I know you are my soulmate and all those good stuff that they're going to kind of like, you know, say to you. <clears throat> To win you over but um will it happen will it work will it kind of like you know be something that that you would want to trust i really don't think so now for some of you you might be already dealing with a new person in your life and you're very happy with this person and then this person returns back and tries to make you feel blocked again you know i feel like you know for some of you because i really don't think that you're happy receiving this person uh, you could feel like, oh my God, why they have come back? I don't want this person. I don't want this drama. I have, I have moved on. I am happy. I even if you haven't moved on, you would be feeling very happy in whatever you're doing in your life. You really don't want this toxic ex, is what I see here for majority of you, and you're not gonna be happy seeing this person return back to you. Let's see some more cards here. We do have the star. I feel like, for some of you, you have recently started having hope around your love life, and then this person. Who has been a toxic is gonna is gonna return back to you in your life just to make you feel like you know um stuck again or bad again um so let's see this person can be um 
This person can be a Pisces or a Virgo or a Capricorn for some of you. Um, but you're not going to be happy receiving the sex of yours back, to be honest. And you don't want to be back with this person. Even if you are single, you really don't want this person. This person is not somebody who makes you happy. They trigger you negatively. And I really feel like you know, they have been very disappointed in the past as well. And they still, even if they are coming back and trying to kind of like, you know, give you false, like, you know, do false promises to you, this is just going to stay false. I feel like, you know, they would never have something solid to offer to you. Let's see what else is coming through for you for this week on Leo's. This person is going to make you feel like, um, they always made you feel like, you know, you are somebody who's always in your la la land. This person never made you believe in like, you know, having, um, you know, they never made you feel like you are, you are somebody who is practical at all. They always made you feel like, you know, you are always somebody who's like, uh, uh, you know, uh, who's always been like a person who, who thinks a lot and, you know, who doesn't do much. I feel like, you know, for majority of you, this person, um, This person is going to try to gain sympathy from you. I don't know how and why, what they're going to do that, what, what they're going to say to you, but this is not going to work out. I really feel like, you know, you have to be very strong because this person is not coming in with any positive intention, to be honest. They, they are coming in with something, you know, toxic to bring in your life again. So if you have moved on, if you have another person in your life, try not to cater this person again. What has ended has ended. Try not to listen to them again. Let's see some messages coming from this person. Let's see what do they have to say here. My life started when I met you. This person really wants you to know that their life started when they met you. Um, they are gonna have, they are gonna be like a sweet talker basically, and they would try to kind of like you know win you back. But your family won't like me. I really feel like you know, there is something or the other which which is not gonna work in this relationship. They are your karmic. They are not like your twin flame or soulmate at all. Um, and I really feel like you know, um, this person is gonna make you believe that you know whatever they they are saying. But deep down, um, you would know that there is something that is not going well with you. I feel like you, know, you would be able to pick up that you know they have something. Um, uh, they are keeping some lies. They are keeping some uh, secrets and they are telling you lies right now. Let's see the divine guidance for you for this uh, week time around the situation that I see coming through for you. Break free. I'm going to include this, not going to take the remaining two cards. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. I feel like, you know, the divine really wants you to break free from this situation and try to, like, you know, look forward to other experiences than getting back with the same ex all over again. Because this is not something that you deserve to have or deserve to become a part of it all over again. Because somebody is not coming to still. Because we do have the king of uh, wands here with the eight of swords energy. So they would just come and block you again. So if you are already trying to move on or move forward in your love life, try to keep moving forward. Try not to give this person a chance to be back with you because they are not going to be somebody who is healthy uh, for you or for your mental well-being. So try to keep yourself moving forward. And, uh, um, you know, even if there is nobody out there in your love life right now, just keep on daydreaming about somebody new to come in your life. Don't let the past get back in your life again to spoil you or your life in a negative way again. So that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If it was of help, do like, share and subscribe till I do the next video. Take care. Bye.